Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Darren. We are at the Titleist National Fitting Centre again. And the last time you saw the video, it was with Annabeth and she was testing out the TSR1 driver. This year, there are many new products coming out and one of the new exciting ones would be the hybrids. And today I'm going to show you the new TSR hybrids. We've got the 1, 2 and 3. Hybrids have really great advantage when you want to launch the ball high and get the ball landing soft. So today I'll be with my favourite fitter in the whole entire world. I know there's some brother love there. We've got Andrew Rogers. Say hi. Hi guys. And uh, he's going to fit me into maybe a TSR 2 or 3. And I'm also going to show you the TSR 1 as there are many options in a hybrid. We've got um, a 3 hybrid all the way up to a 7. Andrew? 7, yeah. yeah, yeah. A 7 on a TSR 1. And I think most of the amateurs, especially my students, do need them. So let's begin. So right now, as usual, we are warming up and warming up is really crucial because you know, make sure that you are ready to hit the hybrids and then check out the full distances. Um, you can look at carry and uh, most of you will be looking at total as well as you want to see how much rollout you have. Some of you might need the hybrid for distance. Uh, some of you might need it for a higher ball flight and that's where carry comes in. Okay. Is that your 5-iron? I've got my 6. Would you like my 5? Let's see your 5-iron, mate. 5? Please and thank you. Okay. Yep, that'll work. What would you say a comfortable carry number for you is on the course? 170. 170 carry? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. You're feeling good today, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit lower in the face. I missed it. Yep. That may be like 165, 160. Yeah, it won't be too far off. 68. Oh, okay. Yeah. Someone knows their numbers. <laughs> yeah, beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. So, plenty of height on that. We've got really good landing angle. Yeah. Um, we know that's going to hold the green. It's not going to run out too much. Mm -hmm. And that's obviously really important with you. With all the clubs in your bat. Well, landing descent angle is the main one. Descent angle. Yeah. Okay. So how we know when to put it into the bag um, is when we start running out of height. So let's say, for example, your seven iron's a nice window. But you get into the six iron, it starts getting a bit flat. You start getting into the five iron. Let's say you you notice on course that your five iron doesn't really carry any further than your six iron, or your mm -hmm. distances start to compress, yes, or you struggle just to even hit the four iron, whatever it may be. That's when we'll start to put it in. So okay. From a fitting standpoint, we would love all of your irons and hybrids to come in at the same landing angle. Okay. So if we can, if your seven irons in a pretty good place and then the six iron starts to decay, that's when we maybe look at a six hybrid. And so there are plenty of hybrids on the PGA Tour. It's not an ability thing. It's more of a dynamic thing and a person, how the person plays. Um, and if you play courses with harder greens or elevated greens, we're going to put hybrids in your bag sooner than if Agreed. you play somewhere with softer conditions. Yes, because we need height and you need the ball to land soft with elevated greens, right? The, the way the modern golf ball is, the golf balls are so good and everything spins so low yep. that if you can create height, you get rewarded for it. I think I need to plan when i 10 years older, when I get older, I will need this. So what clubs you got there? I got a 4-iron. Okay, cool. Let's see that. See the 4-iron? Yep. My 4-iron, I would say... 185 comfortably. Carry. Oh, such a bad shot. Yeah, that's okay. One eighty five hook. One eighty hook. Okay. There we go. Nice.
Okay. Yep, good. Really good. Beautiful strike, mate. Beautiful strike. Okay. I went with uh, not the longer swing. Yeah. Ah, there we go. 183. Oh, no, no, it's loading up. That was your, um, there you go, 188. 188, 189. Okay. Okay, so that's really good. So you can see, hopefully um, the viewers can see on the screen, um, the 5-iron here, really nice flight, 179 carry, mm -hmm. 180 carry, landing angle 43. This is a really important number there, that, that landing angle number. As we go into the 4-iron, mm -hmm. we, we do see that landing angle is just okay. Okay. You know, we do start to lose a bit of height, and once we start getting under 40, we're going to have problems with it running okay. through the green. I understand. The gap between the two is pretty good. 179, 188, but it is closing up a little bit. So okay. it's fine. It's a nice 10 meter gap. And that's if you, if at home, those people watching, if you're not seeing that 10 meter gap, like you would between your eight and your nine iron, that's when it might be time to start considering hybrid. So let's go on to your three iron now. Okay. Which we know we're playing a bit of a utility iron. Yes, it's a three U500. Yeah, and you love this club. Love it, love it. Yeah. Yep, yep, awesome. Flushed. Flushed. Oh, it's a great shot. Yep. Flushed. Wow. Now you know why I love this, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, mm. your, your three iron starts getting into the that in-between range, where we could stay in a utility iron or we could consider a hybrid, because mm -hmm. the good shots are in a nice window, but you can see the landing angle is getting into 40 degrees. Now, if you're gonna use it off tees to set up par, short par fours and stuff, yep. and hit at greens, yes. that's probably fine, because it's in that in-between flight window. Yes. If you were gonna use it exclusively off tees, we may even flatten it out a little bit more, okay. and try and make it run like a driver more. I understand. If you're gonna use it exclusively for hitting at greens, I'd probably like to see that flight a bit higher. higher. Because we know you do both, you could go either way with it. But this is the point where I'm going to come in and give you a hybrid to try. Okay. And just see if you prefer it. It is a hybrid chassis at the same loft as your iron will always launch higher. So if you have a 21 degree iron and a 21 degree hybrid, the hybrid will always be more forgiving, always come out higher, um, spin a bit more, it'll get more loft. And the same is true when you put a 21 degree fairway wood, it'll come out higher again. Yes. So we're trying to step it up. So, so what's the landing angle you want to look at? Like 44, 45? If you stop it, trying to stop it on a green, yeah. 45. Okay. Mathematically, if we can get it there. Now. One shot, give me one shot. All I'll, right. I'll give now, you 45. This is 40, the thing, 45. we know you can do it. <laughs> I just want to see yeah, what's yeah. the distance, right? Okay, We know 45. you can do it, it's not a test. It's just, when you get on course, if you have to manufacture this shot, if that's <laughs> uncomfortable for you, that could cost you shots. Okay, so I've got one shot to hit a 45 landing angle. One shot, angle. good luck. Can he do it? <laughs> oh, it's easily 45. Okay, let's see the distance. Easily. Though. Let's see the distance though. If we get 200. Yeah. Uh, so I'm sacrificing distance if I want to hit the 45 and this is degree the, angle, right? And this is the thing for most players, right? Yeah. You're a high level player, right? Okay. And you can manufacture that, <laughs> but you've got to create it. Yes, I have to create it. So right. just think about how hard that is for us mere mortals. Okay. Right? If you're standing here in a perfect hitting environment. I understand. And you have to work hard to create that height. Yes, correct. Your technique's going to break down. I agree. You're going to start hitting tops, left, right, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. And that's when we're in a perfect environment. I understand. Imagine when you get on the golf course and you've got a downhill lie or a three quarter lie or it's we're not gonna quite struggle. a full swing. It's super hard, yes, right? Yes, I agree. So where, uh, Responsible fitting is not trying to like overcomplicate ball flight. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we optimize it, we get really into that. But yes. for most people, how do we give you a really repeatable height without your technique having to try and contort and make it yes, happen? Correct. Because that's just putting pressure on your technique that maybe doesn't need to be there. I agree. So what we'll do is we're gonna come and give you really similar shaft, in okay. fact the same shaft. Okay as you're playing right now, okay. the same loft, but just on a hybrid head. Okay, and just see what happens, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys for joining me in today's show. 
I have a really special announcement. I'll be going live on Lars Live on March 30th from 9 to 10 p.m. Um, I'm going to showcase to you the all-new FootJoy Hyperflex shoes. Um, you're going to stand yourself to win one beautiful pair as well as a full outfit from FootJoy from top to toe. Yes, so you get yourself a shirt, a pants, as well as this pair of beautiful shoes. Remember to tune in. I'll see you guys on March 30th, 9 to 10 p.m. So my target for my hybrid, or should I say the landing angle for my long clubs will be a 44-45 degree angle coming down. Um, I actually had to manufacture that with my 3-iron. And uh, I think Andrew is a bit, it's right about my 3-iron. When they land on the green, it sort of runs a bit more than I want it to. So I think that's where the hybrid can really come in and help me with my, the long part of the game. And you can see your, your distances start to, to compress a bit. Your carry distances on the 4-iron, 189. Yes. But this is sort of 186. Yeah. 196, sorry, I misspoke. I want 200. Is, it, yeah, it is starting to get a bit... And like we said, you can do it, mm -hmm. but you have to turn it over and add something to yeah, your swing yeah. to get it, instead of it just being a stock swing and the club's giving you the number. Agree. So it's pretty close. Now, it's totally... It, it's fine, but there are a few things that we could probably improve on. So, this is your shaft. So my shaft is a graphite design. Um, it's uh, the one in 280 black, 85X. Okay, same, 21 degrees. Yeah, so the loft's the same, the shaft's the same. It's just we're testing now the head type. Okay. So we'll see. You don't have to like it. Just see how you go with it. Very different feeling, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so the first shot's always free, but you can see the ball speed jumps up 140. Yeah, I can feel that it just comes off the face really hot. Yeah. Yeah. Turn okay. that one over a little bit. That's all yes. right, like we say. Okay. First one's always free. Yeah. It's a very different feeling to hit, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Just hit a couple more for Yeah, me. I'm going to hit a few more. Yep. So we're not quite getting the strike we want to see there. No. Notice how a little bit of a toe strike? Yes, I feel like the toe is coming in when I hit this. Yeah. So that's why we have different hybrid models. Because it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Agree. So we have the three different versions of hybrids. So I'll just slide it over. So for you, in that neutral position, but we know you tend to toe strike it a little yes. bit. So all we're going to do is slide this weight over a little bit to the toe. Now, what that's going to do is, one, it's going to help prevent the left, mm -hmm. but it's also going to improve your ball speed when you do kind of catch it a bit out of the toe. Okay. How's the weight? Does it feel, head weight feels okay or? Head weight feels, I can right. feel like it's heavier at the bottom now. It's fine. Heavier at the bottom, yeah, okay. Easy fix. Yeah. Oh, I like this. Yeah, so you can see straight away the ball speed jumps up to 142 Ooh, and a half. I, that felt good. Yeah, so it was still a little bit of a toe strike, yeah. but essentially what we've done is move the sweet spot to, to you. Yep, so this 198 good. carry. Look at the landing angle, 47.8. Nice. So at the same loft, it's a very different ball flight. So if you're hitting at greens, obviously, this yeah. is gonna be a way more effective tool. The, the, the downside view is, being able to flight it down, right? <laughs> Which is why that utility iron does sit in the middle. Yes, it does. Yeah. Yeah, nice, 142.3 ball speed. So super consistent ball speeds now. So not only are they faster, but they're tighter. Mm -hmm. So your gapping is gonna be really good as well. 196.44, so, so good. It does, it does exactly what we wanted it to do, okay. which is bring that flight up, yeah. right? And it gives you a bit more speed. It's just easier at a stock swing to give you the numbers you're looking for. Yes. So your stopping power on the green is better. Do you think I need just a bit more carry with this club? I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> so, so... I do need at least a 205 or 200 carry with, yeah, so with the hybrid. Yeah. Maybe what we do there is we start looking at the next club in the bag. That was a 21 degree. We know we've got plenty of height, but I want to keep the height in the... How about the TSR2? Exactly do. what we're going to do. You read my mind. 
So yeah. we're going to go into the two okay. in lesser loft because okay. we know by going a bigger head size, mm -hmm. we're going to create more height. Okay. And then we go a stronger loft to create more speed. We should end up still in a really good landing angle, okay. but just with that extra carry you're looking for. Okay. I think this will be like 210 now. Well, let's not try and hit it a number. <laughs> just hit it. Just hit it and see what happens. And see what it does. And then I'll make the club work around you as opposed to you trying to work around the golf club. Okay, boss. Yep, first one's free. I still like the shot even I pushed it left. Yeah, you like that flatter flight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 208, 41. Okay, this can work. Yeah. 100%. So, see the landing angle there is flatter, obviously. Yes, right? yes, yes. But it's, it's designed to do that. It's sitting in that in-between range now. Yes, it can work. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Just turned it over a little bit. And that's totally normal when you're trying to get it to go a bit further. <laughs> but like I said, don't change your swing. Just let me change the club around you. Okay. It will go further. Do not try to hit it harder. Just hit your stock shot. Correct. Let Andrew do his job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what you pay the money for with golf <laughs> clubs, right? That's yeah. what they're supposed to do. Okay, okay. That's a good miss. So that's exactly the miss it we're talking about with, with hybrids. You, you've got to lean into the mat a little bit. Yes, a bit. It's caught the ground, so the ball speed drops off. But look how straight it is. Okay. Carry 196 still. Mm -mm -mm. So if, you're, if you think about, you're hitting that at a par 5 second shot. I miss hit it and then I still get the distance. Correct, right? Yeah. It's still going to get up near the green. It's not a horrendous miss that's going to catch those no. awful fairway bunkers that are like 20 meters short of the green. Yeah. You're still going to get up there. Yeah, you might have to pitch it or you've got to... 40, 50 foot putt, but, but you've still I got, got a chance, you're still in play. And those misses are what's going to make you more likely to pull out and hit it, because you know they're not bad if you miss hit it. So the nope. confidence goes up from the good bad ones, not so much the good good ones. Yeah, nice. Really nice flight. So a bit flatter. Yeah. Yeah, so ball speed's really good. Um, we are getting a bit close mm. on that landing angle there, but you know, it was a little bit low in the face. It's, yes, it was. That's okay. okay. He's human after all. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's, let's get it. There we go. Yeah, nice. Very, very nice. I got this, for sure. 200 carry, 45 landing angle. Yeah. Pretty close. Okay, 210 carry, yeah. 42. But yeah. I thought that was high enough for 45. Okay, interesting. And that's just because the spin rate is so low. Yeah. So you get all that, like we were saying about the golf ball before, mm -hmm. you get all that initial launch. Mm -hmm. But because the golf ball is so effective through the air these mm -hmm. days, it just keeps moving forward. I understand. So launch is your friend. Okay. Yeah. Launch is your friend. So 210 carry, 42 degrees of landing angle. That's doing a lot of things really well. How about 21? Can try? We can. Okay. Let's try 21. Yeah. I think I, stick, I think I can hit the higher angle with the... I don't want 210. I want like two. 200, 205? Yeah. Well, we could do that with a 3 or a 2. It's probably just going to be a little bit of a tweaked version of it, which is easy to do. Okay. You know me, I can do that for you. Sure. So, I'm going to just tweak the head angle a little bit for you. I do like the TSR2 more. Yeah. It's yeah. our most balanced hybrid. Okay. Um, it's Compared to the last model, it's a longer blade length. Mm -hmm. And one of the feedback from a lot of players with hybrids is they struggle with it going left. Yes, I mine goes left, right? I yeah. hit it off the toe a lot. And so you do get a little toe strike, which is where the three does come into its own with you. But the two is also a viable option this time because it's a longer blade length, mm -hmm. which makes it a bit uh, a bit less likely to turn over. Okay. And we've changed the lie angles even flatter. Nice. So it's a it's a nice option, which maybe in the previous models would have been a little bit less um, mm, less reliable for you. But now in this model, it should be pretty good. Ah, no, no, no. First one's always free. Yep. Oh, not bad. I still got 195. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's, that's deep. I, very, swung it, very I swung it slower this time, not trying to hit it long. 
Yeah, and again, that comes back to the conversation, right? Okay, 45, <laughs> 207 carry. That's it, this is what we want. That comes back to the conversation. Yeah. You shouldn't have to change, you shouldn't have a hybrid swing and a 9-9 swing. Yeah, they right? should be the same. Ideally, they're all going to be the same and the club does the difference for you. Okay guys, so we're going to have a look at the TSR1. Um, TSR1 is specifically for golfers with the lower swing speed. And you do really need help getting the ball up in the air. So we got TSR1 in actually four lofts, am I right? 29, 26, 23 and 20. Yeah. Beautiful, so we've got you guys covered. Yeah, so this isn't really a head that's going to be something you need. Okay. Um, it's more for people who need as much help getting height and spin and launch. So we're going to give you a 20 degree, so it's the same comparison. Okay. So same loft we were hitting with the two and the three. Okay. And we just want to see, um, we just want you to see the difference in the numbers. Yeah. So guys, um, early on I got TSR3. Uh, we went with 20 degrees with the same shaft. And that was really optimal for, for me, for my golf. And we went with the TSR2. Uh, it's still good, however, it's not the best fit for me. And now we're going with the TSR1, exactly the same, the same shaft, the same um, degree at 20 degrees. The same, I'm at B1, so it's the same. The only difference is just the hit. Uh, let's just see what happens. Yeah. I believe this is going to come out high. Yeah. Spinny. Okay. Yep. I'd, I'd bet a lot of money on this coming out a lot higher. Okay. How about, will you get me 200 meters? Okay. <laughs> I see all the pressure. <laughs> it's right, like we say, first one's always free. Because okay. yeah. it is a lot lighter head, isn't it? It is, it's very light. Yeah. It's so light at the it's so light at the end. Yeah. I feel like I have to slow it down just to feel the hit. So it's the, the whole TSR1 range mm -hmm. is really designed for people wow. 90 mile an hour club head speed, driver speed or okay. less. And so okay. if you, you're well above that, you know, and even that one, you turn the face over a little bit, yep. still maintain a good amount of height. Okay. I'm going to swing 80 miles. Yeah. Look at that climb, right? Yeah. So I swung it slower. Yeah. Okay, so you still miles. get really good efficiency out of it. Smash factor is still super high. high yeah. But the height and the launch, 46, you know, so for somebody who is a little bit slower, the TSR1 Just driver up. fairway hybrid really brings it up. Nice. Yeah. So, so not something I think we, you know, you need, mm -hmm. but for most of us out there, it's a really powerful tool. Let's see how high this can go. Yep, that's what it says on the brochure right there. Yeah. Hi. Hi. 50? Mm, 48? Wow. Oh. <laughs> master, master. Master. I've 50. seen a lot of golf balls go through <laughs> the air. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Andrew, for the wonderful fitting session again. So I've got fitted into the TSR3. Correct. Yeah, and I, I love that hell of a lot. Do you mind telling our golfers and our viewers the difference between the three, the two, and the one? Yeah, sure. We, we at Titleist have so many different models because we want to try and help players of all different levels and dynamics and all different tendencies. For you, the three was the best because it let us maximize your tendency, which is a little bit of a toe strike and you tend to turn it over. So the three head affords us a lot of adjustability. This is the most adjustable head in the market. Um, so you get a really nice consistent distance, not just about maximum distance, but you get good control over it, good landing angles. It's a really balanced club for you, which should, we hope, help bring your scorecard down. The two was a really powerful tool as well. It is a really consistent head for someone who hits it across the face. For you, because you're a bit more specific and really consistent out of one location, the three did work better. But for a lot of people, the two, because you can hit it all over the face, is going to be a really flexible tool. Um, the one is not something that was great for you at all. It's just that it comes out really high. So for most of us, that height is a big benefit. Mm -hmm. For someone like you who has the speed and the height, it's not a tool we needed, but it's a really powerful tool. And the truth is most of the people who watch this video, um, myself included, they're gonna benefit from the extra height of the, the one. So the real question is, 
when do we really need to know when we have to put a hybrid in a bag? You know, I've got students yeah. that hit, they love to hit their six and five iron, but just, they just can't really launch it in the air. And sometimes they even have the same distance. Yeah. So what's the real deal there, Andrew? Yeah, when you get into hybrid and just normal iron fitting, really, it's not about being able to hit something. It's that club helping your scorecard. So there's a lot of people out there who can hit a four iron and a five iron but it doesn't actually carry any further or hold the green how we want. So they can hit it, but it's not a, a scoring tool for them. So we would normally say when you start running out of height and the distances start to compress, that's when you should start putting hybrids in your bag. So for a lot of people, that's six iron, five iron. Four irons are becoming rarer and, rare, rarer, and rarer these days as well. So if your ball isn't quite traveling as far as you want and it's not holding the green, that's when maybe you should consider putting a hybrid in your bag. And also, be a bit more open to high lofted hybrids. Um, they're getting so good, or they are so good now at giving you high and not spinning a lot that you can put these pretty early into your bag without any real negatives. Okay.